Hi everybody! Today we're gonna make a one-player Pong game in Scratch. You know it's that basic game where you control a bar and there is a ball that you have to touch so that it doesn't fall onto the ground. We're gonna make the speed of the ball increase as we're getting points and when we get a particular number of points we will win the game. So if you're ready, let's get started! <coughs> Let's begin deleting the cut and now we're going to paint a simple bar which is the one we're going to control. Let's call it bar and there are going to be two ways to control the bar either with the keyboard or with the mouse. I'm going to tell you both options, they are very easy. If you want to control the bar using your, um, your keyboard Basically, you need to put forever if key right arrow pressed, we're gonna move it right, so in the horizontal axis, in the X axis, we're going to change X by 8, for example. I can duplicate and I put if key left arrow pressed, I wanna go to the opposite. Uh, direction, so negative 8. And only with this, with the arrow keys, I can control the bar. The other option is even simpler. Basically, we're going to set X to mouse X. And that way, by moving the mouse, we control the bar. So, choose the option you want. And now I'm going to add the ball. So the ball is going to be uh, moving when green flag clicked. The initial direction is going to be this, 45. And now forever we're going to be moving, let's say, 8 steps and even edge bounds. And as you see, the ball is moving but it doesn't interact with the bar because I haven't coded it yet. So, uh, let's say we're going to add a couple of conditions. Keep in mind that when the ball is coming from this direction it has to bounce off that way. So, what is that direction? Well, here in the, in the ball I'm going to put this here just for help and the ball coming from here is this direction negative 135 so let's put an end and let's say if the ball is touching the bar and its direction is this one so let's take an equal let's go to motion and take direction and the direction is negative 135 so if it's coming from here it has to go that way and that way is negative 45 so we put it here I'm gonna duplicate this and put it here and now it's basically the opposite if the ball is coming from here it has to bounce off that way so look, this is the initial direction, so instead of negative it's positive and if coming that way it has to change direction that way, so 45. And with this, now the ball bounces off when it hits the, the bar. Okay, that's easy. So now let's add some details. For example, a score. In variables, we're gonna make a variable. This is gonna be score. At the beginning of the game, we're gonna set score to zero. And when touching the bar, both in this case and in this one, we're gonna change score by one.
so as you see I get points whenever I touch the ball also we can add sounds you know here in sound uh, well for the moment in the ball I have two sounds this boing, boing and this pop you can add other sounds there are plenty of them here okay but I'm gonna use the pop so I'm going to start sound pop here when touching the bar as you will see it will sound okay and now let's add a game over and later on a victory for the game over first of all I'm going to paint the sprite which will say game over this is gonna be red Okay, here we have it. Let's call it game over. So what is game over going to do? Well, at the beginning, when green flag clicked, it is going to be hidden. And when is it going to show? Well, it is going to show when the ball is touching the ground. So let's create the ground. We we'll put it here that's the ground the bar is gonna be there this is the ground or lava or whatever you want we sorry this is the bar the ground is this okay so in the ball code we add another condition here which is if touching ground we're gonna broadcast a message which will be game over and as we said game over is going to show when it receives game over so if it touches that game over but I want to stop the game so uh, here in game over after showing we stop all and that way well if I touch it I can continue playing but as soon as it touches it touches this game over and you can add some sounds here if you feel like well as you want more things we can do uh, well we can increase the speed of the ball as we get points how do we do that well uh, we're not gonna be moving the ball eight steps but speed steps speed is gonna be a variable that I'm gonna put here when I start my game, speed is gonna be 8, which is the speed we had selected before. But here are some conditions. I'm gonna say when I have 10 points, speed is gonna be 12, it's gonna be higher. So in operators, this equal, and I say if score equals 10, I'm gonna set speed to 12 for example okay and well I could repeat this a lot of times I could put if score is 20 set speed to 12 or whatever you want but I'm gonna add the end of the game here so I'm gonna say if score is 20 I'm not gonna change speed I'm gonna uh, broadcast it's here I'm gonna broadcast victory so I'm gonna do something similar uh, here in game over um, well in fact I'm gonna duplicate it this one is gonna be victory let's go to costumes to change everything um, you won let's make it green and this as well And now let's go to the code. When is this going to show when I receive victory? Let's center both of them. And the game is finished. You can add sounds here as well. That's up to you. I'm not gonna do it. I can hide speed because I don't need it to be visible. And in score, look, with right click large readout, there is the score. And now let's play.
You see now it speeds up. And you won and the game stops. So well, this is the end of the tutorial. It is very simple, as I told you. You can add sound, you can change the backdrop, you can even change the backdrop as you change the speed as well. So depending on the on the speed of the ball, the backdrop is different. You can add many levels. Well, that's up to you guys. But as I said, I'm gonna stop here. So have a very good week, guys. See you.